It's hard to wrap my head around it, but astronauts can be in outer space and still utilize NASA resources back on Earth. Incredible. Safe, secure, and simple access keeps space exploration moving in the right direction. In your part of the world, you want your employees to have secure access to company resources from anywhere they go to. That's where a virtual private network, a VPN, comes in. With a client-to-site VPN, employees can connect to the server and access the corporate network or local area network behind the server, all while maintaining the privacy and security of the network and its resources. If you have employees that use a Mac computer, you have an RV340 series router, and you want to set up an AnyConnect VPN? Houston, that is not a problem. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure an RV340 series router to use AnyConnect VPN with Mac iOS clients. First things first, if you haven't purchased the AnyConnect license or downloaded the AnyConnect client software yet, you will need to do this before following this process. To start configurations, click on VPN, SSL VPN, and then on for the Cisco SSL VPN server. The gateway will be the interface with internet access. In this case, WAN 1. The default gateway port is 8443. I will leave that as the default. Okay, next you'll need to enter a client address pool. Keep in mind that these addresses need to be different from both the router's network and the client's network. The network mask is entered and the rest of the settings will remain as default. For group policies, click on the default policy and then edit. Here, a secondary DNS can be added, but since I'm using my router as the DNS, I won't add another one. Fill in the rest of the fields. In this example, I'll keep wins as default, skip adding a description, leave IE proxy settings disabled, and enable split tunnel. Before moving on, a little more detail on the split tunnel. Some people configure it to keep the client's internet traffic at higher speeds. With split tunnel, you can define which networks you want to access over the VPN. Essentially, you can grant access through the VPN to certain networks and deny access to other networks on the router. Split tunnel will also only send the client's traffic through the VPN if it's destined for the defined networks. All other traffic will be sent out of the client's default gateway. Since I want to grant access to my router's network, I will enter that network under IP address and then the network mask. If there are more networks that you wanted to grant the client access to, another IP address would be added. Since there isn't any in my case, I just need to click apply. Okay, now that part is set. Next, a user group needs to be created. This group will house the user accounts that will have access to the VPN. Here, click Add. Give the group a name and scroll down to SSL VPN. Under Select a Profile, select the SSL VPN default policy. Then click Apply. Now you can see the new group has the SSL VPN policy enabled and the admin group has access to the SSL VPN. Disable access to the SSL VPN for the admin group that group won't have access to the VPN. Scroll down to SSL VPN and under select a profile, choose no policy. All right, now the only group that has access to the VPN is the AnyConnect group. Next, move over to user accounts. Here is where the user accounts and passwords that connect to the VPN will be created. To do this, click add, enter a username, the password, and choose the group that was just configured. New usernames and passwords will need to be created for all users that will access the VPN. Click on Apply, and then click the Save icon to save the running configuration to the startup configuration. Great, AnyConnect is now configured on your RV340 series router. Moving right along, it's time for the second section of the configurations, setting up the Mac VPN client. If you do not have a license yet, please call a Cisco authorized partner to purchase one. If you do not have a Cisco partner, see the link in the description. Once you have the AnyConnect license purchased, you can download the Cisco AnyConnect client from Cisco. 
agree to the software license agreement and confirm the install. You may get a message like what is shown here, saying the extension was blocked. If so, you will need to edit your system preferences. Click Allow once and then again for the installation to be complete. Okay, to get everything connected, open the AnyConnect client and enter the router's public address followed by the port number you chose in the RV340 series router configuration. I left the port at the default of 8443. You can check the port number you configured in the RV340 series under SSL VPN and gateway port. Click Connect. You may see an untrusted server message because AnyConnect doesn't recognize the RV340 series public IP address. Don't worry. The settings can be changed. I know that this IP address is my router's public IP address, so there's no security issue. Therefore, I will change my setting and uncheck the block connections option and click connect again. Another message may appear, like in this instance, but since this public IP address is set to my RV340 series router, I know it is a trusted server and I can click connect anyway. The username and password you created on the router needs to be entered. Once clicking on accept, the VPN is connected. Mission accomplished. Now that the configurations are complete, if you want to see how many users are connected to the VPN, navigate to System Summary, click Status and Statistics, and scroll down under VPN Status to SSL VPN. Here, it will show how many connected sessions are running. One giant leap for mankind? Oh yeah, now your Mac users can use AnyConnect VPN to access the network in a simple, secure way. No rocket scientist required. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.